have the confidence to make that goal line save with the Roish Pure Contact Range. From the AX2 Aqua Latex in wet weather conditions to a better balance of grip and durability on turf with the G3 Fusion. Contact the glove experts at Keeper Stop. What's up guys, Omar here with you again, uh, back with another video. Been a while since I've posted, just been running sessions, doing a lot of stuff. But in this video, it's gonna be a behind the scenes look at a 1v1 session I had with my college goalkeepers a few days ago. The main focus you guys will be able to see here is with the dimensions of the goal, which are six yards instead of eight yards, is because I wanted them to focus on only the bubble. And Ian Foyer, former Galaxy goalkeeper coach and US men's national team goalkeeper coach, he had said that most of the goals that he noticed happened inside the bubble on 1v1s, which means just to the left, just to the right, and sometimes down the middle. So I made the goal a little bit smaller to kind of give the goalkeepers an idea and perspective of what they need to cover on a 1v1. And as you guys will notice in the video, on the top left, it'll be a green sign or a red sign. And the reason why I did that is because those are the ones obviously that are good and the ones that are bad. And when you guys see the red sign, try to understand why it wasn't a good rep on what the goalkeeper could have done. At the same time too, when it has the green uh, little symbol, try and figure out what the goalkeeper did right. Hopefully when you watch this, you guys will have an understanding that repetitions are extremely important when it comes to 1v1s. You're not gonna get it on the first try, the 10th try. It just takes constant, constant reps so that you have an idea of what your body needs to get you into the best position possible to actually make a save. Um, but that being said, enjoy the video, comment what you guys like, didn't like, what you guys want me to add next time, all that stuff. I always read the comments, uh, but until then guys, we'll talk soon, enjoy the video. Ready, go! Forward, back, yep! Quick save. That's your priority, especially in a game two. The outside is just, that's the bonus. But most of the goals end up happening on 1v1s, like Ian, Ian said, happen in the bubble. We're leaning and they chip it this way or between our legs or leaning the opposite way and it goes near post. You step in, I can take my touch inside this guy, around, around here. But again, I'm aiming for these two. Yeah, so again, just the priority for you is just shifting after you get from here. Shift, if you see my touch coming between here, if you can get there and then maybe you do a block save, great. But if you feel like my touch might be small enough where you can hold and still maintain space, you can actually make a save versus stepping in and getting caught in no man's land. Yeah, so try and make sure we time things right. But again, the best way to time things right is keeping yourself in, involved by keeping your legs in play. If I'm coming like this and I'm super like falling like this, then I'm gonna have to decide one way or the other versus a variety of saves. So keep your options open. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I almost had that. So make sure you're getting set too. Don't get caught in between. You're still moving when I hit. If you feel like my touch is big enough where you can come in close, they come in close, right there, you're coming in closing and you never actually get set. Okay, still coming in. Yeah. Try and get there and be stubborn, stubborn. about reps so you're not gonna get it on the first try fifth try it's gonna be like 10th 15th you figure out what your body needs to get it to a position where you can access here 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 all these little uh, parts of your body okay I have this person here shooting just so we can try and again keep working on the stabilization everything we're doing right now should all tie in together even on this shot even though it's not a part of a 1v1 the foundation of anything for us as keepers is to be fast in our movement but calm in our set so that we have the ability to either reposition come out and close or set and make a save with our feet, hands, anything. Yeah. Yes. Oh. You just, I think you just keep seeing more and more reps. Right there, I think you're good enough to stay back a little bit. You're still advancing way too much on my touch and as a striker, if I'm coming at you next time, I'll, I'll take a big touch because I know that'll trigger you to come. So find a way where you can get to a spot, set, keep your distance, 
or if you're gonna take, not take a big enough touch, come close me out. You're getting stuck in between two right now, you're not doing yourself any favor. Ha! Good, good. Yes, yes. Uh, there we go, Mario. Good. Tell him to find a good balance from uh, chasing and then holding. Right now you're kind of like up, up, up and then you get here and now you're just falling on your knee and it's hitting your knee versus you actually getting an intentional touch. Okay. Yes! Yes! Good, good. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll watch the film, but it just looks like what we did earlier. You're coming in and you're still really toe dominant. When you're toe dominant, you're like falling over your knees. When you fall over your knees, again, you have no ability. Our attacking points are slightly this way, slightly this way. If I'm going this way, and that's my body to go here, it's really, really hard. So both of you, make sure we're stabilized, then we can attack lateral. Go on. Yes, up, up. Up. yes, well done. Up. Yep. Yes! Yes! Good Mario! Yes! 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 Yes!